There are basically three spiritual voices that can communicate with a human. The Holy Spirit, the human spirit, and demonic spirits. You may wonder why angels are not mentioned in the category stated. It is because they are ministering spirits, which are under the influence of either the Holy Spirit or the spirit of the enemy, the devil. Believers get to discern the type of voice that speaks to them in any given situation as they grow in their relationship with God. You see, our subject today of focus here is how to discern the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. The Holy Spirit usually confirms his word to believers through several signs so that they will not be thrown into confusion when they hear him. The Holy Spirit is given as a guide to believers. He speaks, but we must be able to decipher his communications with us. The question of many believers has been, how will I know that the Holy Spirit is speaking to me? Here, I am going to share three signs that the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. Number one, the Holy Spirit sends confirmation. What we should know is that the Holy Spirit communicates with everyone in different ways within the confines of the Word of God. As we grow in our walk with God, His pattern of confirming His Word to us may change. But what is most important is that we know when He is speaking to us and be sure of His signs. This is very important for every believer to know that God is speaking to them. There are men in the Bible who did not realize that God was speaking to them. I am sure, I am 100% sure that there are people who are listening to me right now who have missed out on God speaking to them because they did not know the voice of the Lord. A perfect example of this can be found in the book of Samuel. In 1 Samuel 3 verses 1 to 10, the story of young Samuel is told. Samuel was just a young boy who ministered before the Lord, but he had not yet known the Lord. At that time, God came to him and he did not know how to discern the voice of the Lord because the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. Verses 3 to 5. The Bible says, And the lamp of God went out in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was, and Samuel was laid down to sleep, that the Lord called Samuel. And he answered, Here am I. And he ran unto Eli, and said, Here am I, for thou callest me. And he said, I called not. Lie down again. And he went to lie down. It is amazing that Samuel assumed it was Eli communicating with him. Each time God called for three times, Samuel would run to Eli. It was the third time Eli knew by experience that it was the Lord that had called Samuel. Now I want to ask you a question. Has God spoke to you in your life? And just like Samuel, you did not know it was him speaking to you. It was Samuel that heard God's voice, not Eli. But Eli was the one to confirm what Samuel had heard in order for Samuel to be sure that the voice he had heard was from God. He needed Eli. So God used Eli to confirm that the voice that Samuel had heard was indeed from God. The people God will use to confirm what he has told us may not have a clue about what he has communicated to us. Like God used Eli, he is still using people to confirm his voice to his children. God could use a believer around you. He could also use a stranger who does not know anything about your current situation or your current matter. God uses confirmation to clear any doubts about what he has communicated to us. Another sign is you have 
peace within yourself about a decision. Another sign by which a believer can know that the Holy Spirit is speaking to him or her is that you will have great peace in your heart about a current situation or a decision. There are times where God will not need to send someone to confirm what he has said, but rather he will give you inner peace. For instance, if you have prayed to God about a joint business venture and you suddenly feel a great peace and confidence in your heart after taking time to pray and to seek the face of the Lord concerning the subject at hand, then that is confirmation. Remember, one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit is peace. Are you tired of making bad decisions? Are you tired of living in regret? Here is the answer for you, my friend. Wait and seek the face of the Lord before you make another decision. Life is full of decisions. You don't have to make another bad decision that will cause you to fall for several years. I know I'm tired of making bad decisions. One decision has the ability to change the trajectory of your life for better or for worse. Not just your life, but the life of your family. If you are confronted with a major decision in your life, the best thing you can do for yourself and for your family is take time to seek the face of the Lord. God will answer your prayers. God will give you direction. He will tell you what is right. He will tell you what is good. He will tell you what is right for your family. When God speaks, it brings peace to your soul. It brings peace to your spirit. That is one of the major signs that God is speaking to you. The peace of the Lord surpasses all understanding. Do you have peace in your decision? Some people, when they have made decisions and they turn out not to be the right decisions, you hear them saying remorsefully, yes, I knew I shouldn't have done it because there was a niggling feeling I had. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but I disregarded it and pushed it aside. In retrospect, they realized that God was speaking to them then. That is the importance of trying to understand and know how God speaks to you and gives you signs. There is a great importance about seeking the face of the Lord in every decision we make. J. Vernon McGee once said, Years ago, a lady came to Dr. G. Campbell Morgan and asked him, Do you think we should pray about the little things in our lives? And Dr. G. Campbell Morgan responded saying, Madam, can you mention anything in your life that is big to God? He then continued on to say, When you begin to divide things in your life that are big, that are big or little to pray to God, you're making a false decision. Because all the areas in our life and in my life happen to be very small as far as God is concerned. God wants to help you with your decision making. Pray to him. But when we pray to him, we must learn to wait long enough in the place of prayer before making our decision. If we are in too much haste, in too much of a hurry, our flesh will dictate our decision making. Several persons, several people have rushed into trouble and then cried out that they never had the backing of God. Most people made their material or career or financial decisions without seeking God's face and as a result they failed. The Lord will never lead you astray. He will give us a sign of his backing if we care to wait on him. So I encourage you today, take time to pray and seek the face of the Lord. Now I want to ask you a question. What do you think of when I say prayer? Automatically, when we think about prayer, 
listening isn't generally the first thing that comes to mind. But in reality, prayer is communion with God, and that requires that we listen to what's on God's mind, as well as us expressing what's on our own. Prayer is dialogue between humanity and divinity. There are two lines of communication. The last and the most important sign is that the voice of the Holy Spirit agrees with the Word of God. Another sign the Holy Spirit uses to assure us that He is speaking to us is that He uses the Scripture to back up His words. The Holy Spirit will never instruct us against the truths that is recorded in this Bible. He confirms His Word through the written Word of God. The Bible was written through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. At such, he cannot contradict himself. Therefore, the word of God becomes the most reliable proof by which we can confirm the Holy Spirit. However, believers should be careful not to be deceived by the devil because the devil sometimes disguises himself as an angel of light quoting scripture out of context. We can always discern the deception of the devil because they are not correspondent with biblical truths and standards. As we grow in our relationship, as we grow in our relationship with the Holy Spirit, our ability to discern is enhanced. Make sure you subscribe to the new line of Judah Prayer channel. Click the link in the description.